Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the count function and the related functions in Microsoft Excel. So I have here a Microsoft Excel worksheet that has uh, fictitious data. I have four variables, uh, participants, and then scores. Let's say scores on some sort of psychometric instrument, then gender, and educational level. And I'm going to show you how these five functions apply, the count, and then the related functions. You have count A, count blank, count if, and count if S. So we'll start with count. Now the count function returns the number of cells in a specified range that have a number in them. So let's apply this to, say, a section of column B. So equal sign, count. And I'm going to use B2 through B21. And you can see it returns 20. So 20 of those cells in that range have a number in them. So if I were to change this range from B2 to B21, which I could do by just dragging this over and hit enter, you can see it's zero. So in, for gender, from B2 to B21, there are no numbers. So now to show you how count A is different than that, I'm going to go back up to the function I have here, and I'm going to move into the range and press F4 to make this uh, absolute, F4 for both uh, the beginning part of the range and the ending part. And I'm going to autofill it down. And I'm going to change the count to count A. And you can see now it returns 18. So what count A does is it returns the number of cells that contain any value but not a cell that's empty. So as you can see by this count, it excluded two. It excluded uh, C11, did not count that one. It did not count C21. So it has to be a value, but not empty. So if we wanted to count the values that were empty, we could use count blank. So again, I'm just going to autofill the same function down. So it's going to retain that range. In this case, uh, the first 20 entries in the gender variable. And I'm going to change from count A to count blank. And it returns 2, which makes sense because there's two empty values in that range. So now I'm going to move ahead to the count if and count if s functions. The count if function will count the number of cells that meet a certain condition that you specify. And the count if s function is similar except it will handle multiple conditions or multiple criteria. So let's say that for the first 20 uh, participants we want to know how many had a score of greater than 50. And so we go to count if and we'll select the range B2 to B21, the first 20 participants. And we'll specify the criteria as greater than 50, but this has to be in quotes. So greater than 50. And you can see that it's 14. So 14 of these participants had a score of greater than 50. So let's now assume that we want the scores that are less than 45 and greater than 55. So for an instance like this, if we want to count those scores, we could use two count functions and add them together. So I'll retain this first count function 
and I'll set this to be equal to greater than 55. And I'll add that to another count function. So be a plus sign and another count if with the same range, except this time it'll be less than 45. So you can see that when you add them together, the greater than 55 and the less than 45, 17 scores fall into that category. So now let's move to the count if s function. I'll show you how this works. So let's say that we want to count all the males that have an educational level equal to 17. So the criteria range, again, we'll just use the first 20 for gender. And then the criteria would be equal to male. But now we want to hit a comma, and it's going to ask for another argument here, criteria range 2. And for that, we're going to select educational level. And for criteria 2, we'll have it equal 17. And you can see there's only one, as this record here. This participant is male and has an educational level of 17, and he is the only one from the first 20 participants. So what if we wanted to change this and add another criteria? So let's say we wanted to change this to uh, females, participants with an educational level equal to 17. We could go into the same function and just change male to female. You can see there's four. What if we wanted to add an additional condition stating that their score would be above 55? So we want participants that are female, have an educational level of 15, and also a score above 55. So for criteria three, we would add the first 20 scores and set that criteria at greater than 55, which you can see now moves the number 4 down to 3. So one of the female participants with an educational level of 17 did not meet the criteria of a score being greater than 55. And you can see it's this record here. This participant here has a score of 39, whereas the other participants, the three other participants, had a score of greater than 55. I hope you found this video on the count, count A, count blank, count if, and count if S functions in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.